Greetings, Commanders. The surprising turn of events is that Titan Indra has survived the weekend. Much to the surprise of a lot of Commanders that saw Haddad go down so quickly, there's a lot of conversations ongoing online with regards to why the pace around Titan Indra is so much slower than the pace around Titan Haddad. And I've heard all kinds of hypotheses from FDF has increased the difficulty so people could actually enjoy some of that gameplay during the weekend to uh, weapons somehow become less effective to the you know, straight forces on vacation. Uh, at least some of us were, as you can see. I'm pleased, I'm personally back. And I wish we had that kind of impact on the game, but um, it's definitely not the case. What has been going on is a combination of a few factors. First and foremost, invasions are back. Based on the latest war changes, invasions are now a thing in the game. And candidly, the gameplay around ports, uh, both planetary ports and space ports under attack, is a lot more engaging and a lot more fun than Titan bonding, which does get stale and repetitive after a while. So if you look at the data from the Defense Council of Humanity website, you'll find that the focus level of activity around invasions dwarfs what the current activity around the Titan space is, with about three quarters of the players currently focusing on invasions versus, versus Titan bombing. That is the single biggest factor which has contributed to a slower pace of progress around Titan Indra compared to Titan Haddad. In addition to that, there is the fact that the novelty effect is somehow wearing off Titan Haddad had the Python Mark II just recently released with a lot of commanders wanting to try their new toy. Uh, Titan India has no such thing. Uh, furthermore, this is Titan number five and uh, it's no different in terms of mechanics really than Titan number one. And even the little uh, cookie that uh, FDEF gave us with uh, regards to removing the damage penalty that uh, uh, Guardian resistant weapons engineering entail really hasn't proven very effective at getting people motivated to give it another go. And then finally, it was the long weekend of uh, July 4th, which for the US is a major family holiday, which means a lot of people were out of town, the side of the Atlantic, which means a much lower overall level of activity in the game. So all in all, that has resulted in a much slower pace of progress. It'll be interesting to see what Front Developments rolls out to keep the interest going in the final three Titans. With that, I'm going to make an over and out and go to mankind.